Hi. Welcome. Hello there. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome to the set of CJ's First Cooking Show. I am CJ. Right back here is my loving amigo. He said loving. Mr. Nathan Lippy. Right over here is my nephew, my home slice, Ethan Frazier. Guys, today is going to be a fun one. Let me just let me just lay the groundwork <laughs> for a scenario okay. for you. Let me just let's just say, okay. Ethan, that you're deciding you want to have a couple friends over. You want to throw a little brunch. You don't want to cook. I don't think he has a couple friends. You want to throw a brunch for your mom. There it is. And He's you decide, I don't want to cook a full, I want some finger foods for breakfast. Brunch, <laughs> not lunch. I'm going to show you how to do it. Today, I'm going to show you like a loaded breakfast potato. Hmm. A loaded breakfast potato crisp. That That's what I'm going to show like you. That doesn't look like a loaded potato. That's what I'm going to show you. That's what we're going to do. All right. Are you ready? Uh, yep. This Are knows, you? This guy knows what I'm talking about. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Right, right. Am I right or am I right or am I right? So come on, everyone, it's today's first show. Nope. Um, we need tongs. Did you just time out? I did time You just did <laughs> Time out! All right, here we go. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do with this delightful, delicate brunch hors d'oeuvre, hors d'oeuvres. Uh, it's none of those things. No, none of those. Oh, it's a brunch breakfast thing. Debacle. Whoa. I'm sorry, we haven't even started. I don't wanna put the bad juju on it. You know what, don't you worry your little heart out. The point is, I am we need I care. lots of bacon because I wanna cook my potatoes I need lots of bacon fat because I'm gonna crisp up my potatoes in said bacon fat. So I think that we Layers. are Layers, you're layering. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm layering. Now for this there is a very specific potato that we like to use, and I would like it. I sort like of it. omen. Give me sight. Whoa. Beyond sight. Huh? Ah. Thundercats, right? Yep. Yeah. So um, why don't you tell us why russet potatoes are such a good option for this? Actually, it's because russet potatoes have a very high starch content, which makes them really fantastic for mashed potatoes or french fries. Or in this case, I had no idea what you're doing. Well, I mean, I guess that that's some good science. That's yeah, you're good science. Your mom's good science. You're more like weird science. That. Weird science, <laughs> dude. <laughs> It hurts to do. It hurts. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, moment of silence for Bill. Okay, let's uh, take a break. Do a little quick, quick flippage. Whoa! Whoa! Don't you whoa me? On the edge of uncertainty. What? I'm moving it over here because. Oh! Oh! Wow! Dude! Wow! No, you haven't CJ'd it yet. It's uh, it's not been CJ'd quite yet, but we're good. We're I still... saw someone say you CJ'd that pizza a while ago. Which I actually hey kind of you. disagree a little. Ignore my pizza. <laughs> I know how to go to a CJ tent. <laughs> All right, yeah. Were you on a walkie-talkie? <laughs> there was definitely a niner in there. Um, all right, so we definitely need to watch out for our bacon because, as we all know, bacon can cook quickly, and as we all know even more, wow, there's nothing better <laughs> Then some fresh grated cheese. And I need this sucker to be wicked and melty. You looking for some milk? I'm, I'm looking for looking a little for bit some, of melt. Looking for some ooey gooey. Some of that ooh. Some of that goo. A little bit of, a little, a little <laughs> goo. side. Goo. Goo. A little side of that goo, extra cheesiness. I need this to be really melty that it's gonna go with my eggs here in just a second. So whoa, I've got whoa, some. eggs. Where do eggs fit in, in loaded baked potatoes? You know what? I'm really glad that you asked. I'm gonna shred up this medium cheddar cheese. Get that all nice and ready for my presentation of the eggs that's about to dance with. What in tarnation? Yeah, so I'm gonna go on the Blackstone with some of my fresh eggs. Gonna one hand crack them, see how I can do. Bacon fats is pro move. Well, thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Uh, now, you once, are those, welcome. once those eggs start to get to where I like them, sexy as Betty might say, I'm gonna mm. add a decent helping of this cheese. Now, at this point, I'm also gonna be pulling my bacon off. Give that a chance to drain, not to dry, 
But to drain, drain, we're gonna drain that off, and I'm gonna chop that up into large bacon bits. Lardons. Is that what it's? No, you actually cut it first for lardons. I don't. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, yo. So I'm gonna chop this up into big old bacon bits. Add that in with my cheese and my eggs, and give that a toss around. Now it's time to go down with our bacon crisps. Potato crisps. That too. Now it's time for. Hmm. Is the mucus that binds us? <laughs> the mucus queen is yours. <laughs> oh, double! <laughs> I'm still confused how this is gonna. Come. This is not a loaded baked potato. So as smart as Did you, you say are, loaded baked potato. As smart as you are, you're kind of stupid. <laughs> 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 Dude, it's gonna be like it's like an hors d'oeuvre. How it's does it a, go together? It's an appetizer. It's a, do, I'm going to build it. All right, so here we go. All I'm right. gonna bring my eggs back over here. All right, because I got a couple more ingredients I want to add at this point. Actually, I mean it smells fantastic. I'm not naysaying. I'm just I don't understand. You. You're I I leave it in the comments. Was that a nay and a say? Because no. it's what naysayers do. I've eat, got my bell peppers. Eat some hay. Lay down by, the, by bay. the bay. I just may. What do you say? I got some bell peppers, number one for color, number two for flavor, number three because I like it. Number one super cool guy. That's <laughs> 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 good. All right, Let, let's um, incorporate my bell peppers. So is that the texture you saved it for last? Yes, because I did want a bit of bite, some of the crunch. I, I didn't approve. want it to be... Thank you. Thank you for approving. I know. All right. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do is green chili, but I think I was going to do that at the end. I was going to do the eggs, then green chili, then I'm going to top it with cheese. You're going to put cold green chili on top of hot, cheesy bacon eggs. I'm just saying, you could warm it up you a little. You make a strong case. Is it a garnish? It's not a garnish, per se. We'll just do it in the eggs. Okay. All right. And today oh, I am using Lord. my favorite green chili. So now everything's gonna taste like green chili. It's not just green chili, it's a stewed green chili. So let's toss this all together. It works. Because it's now, it's time to build. Everything's obviously getting heated up. I am as on you... the edge of my seat of how this gets built. Hang on, built. Built. I have never. All right, here's <laughs> how we're gonna build it. Okay. One scoop full of deliciousness. So is this breakfast? This is breakfast. It's kind of like a hash. Brunch. It's like a breakfast hash, but like I said, you could, you know, this this could be a this is uh, an appetizer situation. I'm okay. I'm okay with all this. This is working. Of course it's of course it is. Of course it is. Of course I am. Of course I am. Of course I am. Um, now be careful. You don't want to overfill because we are going to cheese it up here in just a second. You don't. You're going cheese on top? Yeah, buddy. Wait. I get where you, I See, get it. You smell what I'm stepping yeah, in? You smell, yeah, 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 yeah. There we are. Okay, hold on, this guy was a okay. big one. Let's do just a little bit more. It's all making sense now. It's all coming together. This, I'm gonna slide off to the side. Because, yeah, thanks guys, I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Uh, the bottom is still cooking and crisping, so we can leave that there for a second. Come on back, guys. Oh, well, cheese, where am I going? We're coming over here, because it's time to cheese to top it off with some cheese and get that last bit of melty cheesy. Cheese me, Seymour. Feed me all night long. Nearly every time. Yeah. You got it? Okay, it's not It's not bad. I like it. Okay. Because <laughs> I like Little Shop of Horrors. Fruit. Leave it in the comments below. Anybody actually ever watched Little Shop of Horrors or oh, no. have seen you not? Little Shop of Horrors like on Broadway or at a musical? Oh, I have not. I would love to. I, I have, and it's you awesome. You saw it on Broadway? I saw the musical, because my sister starred in it, which is why she Your bought the movie. Your sister was on Broadway? No, it was a high school musical. All right, so special sauce. Two ingredients? It doesn't have to be complicated to be special, bro. I uh, I couldn't agree more. Just let let the flavors shine for themselves. Let's build what? Let's build a stage for their flavors can, to shine. Can you hear? <laughs> what can I say, dude? I've learned I've learned a thing or two hanging out with you. Now, what I do want to do here is, I don't want this to be all sour cream. I don't want it to be all hot sauce, but I, I think I'm going to do about equal portions Ooh. hot sauce to sour cream. Because I want the consistency and the heat. Um, I want you a little really bit of drizzle. Cover up that potato flavor. Look, the sauce is special. Just leave it alone. So special. All right, so my sauce is officially done. I think we got a couple minutes. We're going to let the cheese melt. Oh, actually, 
I see the cheese is melting, but I don't want the bottom to get too crispy. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off and put it on our handy dandy, handy dandy. heating rack, heating tray. What do we call these? The Blackstone, the Blackstone rack. I'm gonna uh, resting, pull those off. Resting rack. Resting rack, that's a perfect description for it. I'm gonna rest these on there, let them continue to melt, let them continue to cook, but not be on in, not be on direct, direct heat. heat, let them be on indirect heat. Twas a tongue twister indeed. <laughs> Twas. Twas the night, night before, before Christmas. Christmas. All to the house, not a piece of bacon was left. Not even a mouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is time. Okay, it's uh, garnishing time. We have got all of our ingredients done. The last thing is chives. Now, chives, dude, for whatever reason, chives yeah, are dude. just, they're just the chives, thing that dude. you put on baked potatoes. So I figured this is what we needed. Why do, why do people put chives on baked potatoes? It's like a, a mix between a green onion and... Tell green me. onion and uh, a green onion. <laughs> chives are a little bit more delicate than green onion. Although they are confused often, chives have a much more delicate flavor, more color, texture. Green onion's more of a like a punch of onion. More uh, delicate. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, we're done. It's time to garnish this bad boy. Let me slide my chives right over there. That's a nice slide. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Gonna Here do we go. Electric. Careful, those handles can get hot like they are for me right now. That's Dude, look song. at this. We got some of this Pretty cheese skirt coral reef <laughs> <laughs> going on. I'm actually gonna remove that because they're just not necessarily doing us any good. But it is time to do, the final, good. to do the final garnish. And we're gonna do just a light drizzle. Look at you, getting all fancy. You know, the, the drizzle. Yes, it won't change fancy, don't let me down. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All oh, right. Reba? Okay. All right. This front one needs a little bit more love. It just was. Can I add that to the bucket list? I want to cook for Chris Stapleton and Reba. Okay. Why not? I'm a fan of Reba. Dude. And then we're going to. Uh... I think Reba will be a fan of us. You think so? I don't know. Let's ask her. Reba. Reba. Are you a fan? <laughs> <laughs> you got to be watching. Obviously, right? Yeah. Chris Stapleton is. So is Dave. Okay. It's not your traditional brunch or appetizer menu, but. Can we not agree? A crispy potato loaded with all basically the interior of a burrito or we, a quesadilla. We can agree that this looks delicious. The title. Let's agree on that. There's yeah. like not like an agree to disagree. It's just we'll just agree. Yeah, that it looks oh. pretty. That's the oh one. yeah. That's this the is one. the money. I have my eye on that one. Well, that's why I took it. And of course. All right, I'm taking it. Taking it to the dome, bro. Taking it to the dome. You know, it's almost like. Mm. Oh, I saw the cheese pull. Uh -huh. That was pretty pretty wicked. Listen, here's all I have to say to you two That's and the rest I of humanity to say about, about that. that. You're welcome. <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's my life. Dude, it is perfectly seasoned with the green chili from Monroe's, yeah. which I love. All right. The bacon, Dude, the, the egg, bacon, egg, and cheese. cheese mixture. How's the hot sauce? That sauce was good. You it? know what? I could have even used a little hotter. I might could have like one portion sour cream, three portion sauce. Much hooter. Hotter, hotter, hotter. hotter. Uh, this is a money maker. Let me know in the comments down below who's down with this. Who's gonna make this for their next brunch? If you're uh, if you're, you're throwing a cool to, brunch. Can I take you to a cool brunch? Yes. And then you make something that we ate. Maybe. And then I will too. Okay, fine, okay. done. Leave it in the comments below. Do you wanna see us go to a brunch? Wake up early, mimosas. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm having mimosas. <laughs> Alright guys, leaving it in the comments leads me to my next favorite part of the show other than eating these delicious little brunch nuggets. Brunch nuggets? Potachos. No? Potachos. It is now officially time for CJ's Comments of the Week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's Favorite Comments of the Week. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the part of the show where I screenshot comments from you, the mm, viewers. If you write it, well, we, we read, read it. it. If, pinch if poke, you, you owe me a pinch, coke. Pinch poke, you owe me a pinch poke. poke. Pinch poke. Basically, this is the, the moment where I take your comments and broadcast them for all the world to see. <laughs> well, they welcome. can all see them, but now they're going to hear them through the yeah. ears of the person you're trash talking, which stings a little bit more. Do we have some stingers today? Yeah, 
Oh, let's get him. Okay. Let's get him. We're, we're starting off with a nice one. This first one oh. comes in from Adam Hutchison. Hey, Adam. Adam says, <laughs> y'all are hilarious. You remind me of me and my friends where we give each other crap all the time and two out of three of the things that we say are movie quotes. Love the show. I just found you this weekend and I've binged a majority of your videos already. Adam! He was my once, man. once lost. But now, now he's found. found. Welcome to your people. Welcome to the fold. Bumblebee tuna. Okay, this is another nice one. Slash nice -ish. stinger for you. It was actually on your episode. It was a stinger to me? Yeah, it was on your um, your Juicy Lucy. Uh-oh. Uh, cooking with the crazy pop. Oh, Butch. Oh, hey, Butch. He says, Wait a minute. He says, I'm so glad you've learned so much from what you've taught CJ. But just remember who made you <laughs> famous. You're welcome. No, he's that's, talking about my mother. Nope, that's definitely going to be. not talking about you. Okay. And I need to try some of that funky tree cheese, trees too. Cheese too. But seriously, what an amazing looking burger. I'm definitely going to make this one. By the way, it was really nice of you to maybe share with your friends. Oh. Yeah. You oh, because I made one burger. Yeah, you always make one burger. And that, would you have eaten That it? just ticks off me and Ethan. Would you have eaten the Brie stuffed Juicy Lucy? Yes, I would have. What? I would have eaten two of them. You know what? That makes me sorry, so angry. I'm I could sorry, just Ethan. run off like a Ethan, southbound I'm pachyderm. I'm sorry. Hey, speaking of southbound pachyderm, what hey the? CJ, did you know <laughs> that Les Claypool, the frontman for Primus, actually wrote a novel in 2006 called South of the Pump House, and it is a tragic tale about family. Did you read it? I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> that I makes never sense. Learned to <laughs> read. No. I never learned to read. Go and I will ring it to uh, Ethan's lack of education. Hooked on phonics, but works for me. Okay, this next one, uh, I'm gonna do you a solid, Zeb. Zeb. Zeb all good or all good. Zeb. All good. Zeb's dead, baby. Zeb's dead. Oh. Right. Wow. That was a deep one. Okay. Um, Zeb Algood or All Good says, This is Zeb's wife commenting. Ooh. Okay, we have two Blackstones so Zeb far. Zeb is not All Good. <laughs> we have a 36 inch and a 17 inch. He wants to get more. We want to get the pizza oven for sure. Do it. He's talking about getting an adventure ready soon. I'm not going to let him get them until one of his comments are on your comments. Well, of well, the week. well. Zeb. Fill up your online cart, amigo. Jump in the car, grab your wallet, because You're you here. just got... I got it. You just got yourself a new 22 inch with the pizza oven. Zeb, you're welcome. Maybe Zeb's wife? Make... Zeb's wife. You're cool. You're cool. 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 All right, this one comes from Hodad200. Hodad. Not to be confused with doodad. Ho down. Really, you down? Downtown. Downtown. Okay. Uh, Hodad 200 <laughs> says, Nathan is the cook we need. Oh, thanks, buddy. CJ is the cook we deserve. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait. It's a hoedown with the doodad on the back of the... Dang doohickey. <laughs> the old doohickey. Okay, this next comment comes in from Felicia. Felicia. Felicia Houston? Hi, Felicia. Oh, Fel <gasps> mm, yeah. yeah, read that. This comes off of Nate's show. It says, <clears throat> Felicia, I quote, my favorite Blackstone chef, Nathan Lippy. Pow! 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 You're two faced, Felicia. Pow! You're Felicia, two faced. My spirit. Oh. I was a little weak, but you know. I, I, I don't even know you, Felicia. <laughs> I don't even know you. I don't even know you. Who are you? I don't even know. Who I don't even you? know you. What are you doing? Who are you? I don't even know you. All right, this last one comes in from John Carlson. John says he's got a brilliant idea, episode idea. Nate wears a lab coat and talks about okay. bacteria, Maillard reactions, and other science stuff. You mean like Bill Nye? Bill Nye, the science guy? <laughs> I feel like it's a compliment, like he wants the information, but somehow he's sneaking in a bit of sarcasm, like it would be making fun of me. Chlorophyll. More like Borophyll. So sorry to interrupt. Continue with the chlorophyll. chlorophyll. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. John. All right. Okay. I'm in. I'm game. I'm game. I'm game. <laughs> this is a dive. 
Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Appreciate your comments, your love, the mild bits of hate. There wasn't too much hate today. No. Except from, from Alicia. A couple. Felicia. No. Lots of love. No. I don't, LOL. I'm not, lots of love. <laughs> L for love. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm going to forget that you said that, Felicia, because um, you had a special place in my heart. And now I'm Have. filling that place with breakfast. And now you've got a special place in mind, Felicia. There's tons of room over there because nobody's up in that hard. That's not. That, that's not. It's true. Fun to say. Hey, be sure to go to BlackstoneProducts.com. Also go to GriddleNation.com where you can get swag like this. Shirts, stickers. Things of that nature. Good. Um, also, be sure to go check out the other shows. Nate, Betty, Todd, uh, Bruce Mist Mitchell's got some stuff coming out here pretty soon. He does. On the bio's coming back real quick. Destination Delicious. But ladies and gentlemen, this is CJ's first cooking show where we cook. And we quote. Yes, we do. So we will see you guys next Down week. Down the road. On the other side of the moon. That was the Destination Delicious. Well, this is the dark side of the moon. <laughs>